I got a challenge for you today that I think you're really gonna like. Find a closed form for n plus the square root of, now everything's inside of the square root, n squared plus the square root of, again, everything's gonna stay inside of that square root, n to the fourth plus the square root of n to the eighth plus and so forth. Okay, so try it on your own and let me know in the comments if you're able to solve it, uh, or you could just watch me solve it. Okay, so whenever you have one of these problems with like a nested square root, a good idea is let's call this x and see if we can simplify it. So we have x equals this right hand side. And now let's subtract over the n. So x minus n is equal to n squared plus the square root of n to the fourth plus the square root of n to the eighth plus and so forth. Okay? And so, I mean, we could rewrite this as x equals n plus x minus n, but that's not really gonna help. What can we do here? Well, what happens if we multiply x by n? So nx is equal to, well, n squared plus n square root of n squared plus square root of n to the fourth plus square root of n to the eighth and so forth. All right, but we could bring this n inside of the square root and it comes as a square root of n squared. So xn is equal to n squared plus the square root of, well, n squared times n squared is n to the fourth plus n squared times the square root of n to the fourth plus the square root times n to the eighth. And it goes on forever. Right, but by a similar argument, this n squared goes on into, inside the square root as an n to the fourth. And then it would get distributed here, and that n to the fourth would go into the next square root as an n to the eighth, and, and, and so forth. So we have n times x is equal to n squared plus the square root of n to the fourth plus the square root of n to the eighth plus and so forth. Okay? This looks like something we could deal with because it's exactly this term, but squared, right? This is equal to x minus n squared. And so now we have an easy equation to solve, right? This is an equation you could have solved in like fifth grade. Okay, so let's distribute this out. So that's x squared minus 2nx plus n squared is equal to nx. Okay, and we'll bring all the terms to the same side. So we'll call this three, and this is zero. All right, and now we could solve this using the quadratic formula. So x equals uh, positive three n, plus or minus, we'll have to check which one makes sense, the square root of three n squared. So 9n squared minus 4 times 1 times n squared. So minus 4n squared all over 2. Okay? And so this is equal to 3n plus or minus, we could factor out a, a square root of n squared. So plus or minus n square root of 5 over 2. Um, but the negative one won't make sense. That's going to be smaller than, um, than n. And this number is definitely bigger than n. So we have 3n plus n squared of 5 over 2. Let's factor out an n. So it's n times 3 plus root 5. I know I keep going, but I want to write it in one last form. And we could break apart this fraction as n times 1 plus the golden ratio. So how about that? Golden ratio appears even when you don't expect it. Well, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. See you later.